Well, so it's great to see so many people uh, relaxing in the middle and enjoying the racing, uh, as we said, perfect day and conditions out here. Let's take a look at your numbers for this race. What are you selecting? I've gone three, four, one and two. I think ZM picked itself really. It's won two from two here. It was a dominant winner last time, so it's uh, it's going to be hard to beat again. I'll have a raft. can certainly improve a bit. Um, it was very good last start. It's probably a, a slightly trickier race, but uh, certainly deserves to be in there. No sun, no supper. It will run the trip out. You know that. And spying on you. Won it last year. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, and two. All right, let's take a look at the mounting yard then, and we'll start with number one, no song, no supper. Fifth up this preparation. Uh, oh, sorry, no, it's more than fifth up, but it should be uh, ready for a pretty good run. Yeah, it ran fourth in this race last year carried 68 kilos carries 68 kilos again here ran fifth in the Von Dusa. Um it's actually a better run than it looked it sat out the back and was really working home late so the 49.50 will certainly suit him uh, had a clean up run last start at a Tuca over 2100 just to keep ticking over yeah sixth up today uh, is no song no supper spying on you Grant Young we know that his horses are always perform so well in this and of course he won the race himself he's just telling me about the peach variety gave his winner back in the day I bet he was he, obviously last year's winner trying to back up uh, 65 kilos last year, goes up 3 kilos for this. It's running the Von Dusa was fair. Uh, it, um, it beat No Song, No Supper home, but uh, certainly that last at a couple hundred metres, No Song was hitting the line a bit stronger. Chance. Well, 3ZM was the winner of the Von Dusa and couldn't have been any more impressive when winning by three lengths. Since then, his race over 2,100 metres just as a nice little touch-up. And it was actually a really good run. That was at a Tuca, um, that 2,100 metre race. It hit the line really strongly. I think Rick McIntosh actually commented, here's your, uh, here's your Great Eastern winner. Been to the track twice. It's won them both. Uh, deserve favourite. Four, I'll have a laugh. I thought it was a very good performance last time at Warnable as well. One by four and a half lengths. Be interesting to see how it goes again this year. Yeah, it's a really, uh, really good win there in that, in that race. It was carrying a bit of weight. Had the claim for Daryl uh, Daryl Horner, who rides it again here. Um, dominant win. It's just got to, I guess, take that step up in class. It was quite a good flat horse. Um, yeah, give it a chance. And six is underground fighter. Of course, this horse finished second in the race last year. It'll be interesting to see if they can bring that form again, because it's just been a little bit off so far leading into this prep. Yeah, it was second last year. To be honest, it's, it's form in that. It was a decent price that day. It's form leading into that race wasn't great. Uh, and you look at its form this year, we've got fifth, a fifth or sixth at Warrnambool in, in a steeple and then obviously in a maiden hurdle last start at Terang was, uh, was pretty plain but only beaten four lengths. You'd look at it and go, well, it's not going as well as last year. It probably is going as well as last year. Um, just a horse that was obviously able to pull out a run on the day. Small field, you never know. Well, there's your numbers again. Three, four, one and two uh, for this uh, very famous race. The first one I'll be uh, watching live, James, but a lot of excitement about it. Uh, everybody again uh, moving towards a fence and they do seem to enjoy uh, seeing all of it. We might have a slight delay here, just there's some news that there is a delay. There's a bit of a problem with some of the rail around the track, so we'll keep you up to date with that as well. But, yeah, it is interesting to see this race and one that, uh, as you can see now, where, where we're standing, we can see around that uh, corner and all the people now move forward. They've got the cars backed up, reversed there, a lot of tents out there as well. And as I mentioned, when I was walking through a little bit earlier, the barbecues are out there, there's plenty of beers, but everybody's drinking responsibly, as we like to see, James. So it is a very good day. It's uh, it's a this is a jumps race as well. This is what it's all about. I mean, you, we obviously have jumps races at Morpheville and the sort of metro tracks where they they'll wheel out a couple of obstacles. But see, that's almost in its natural environment. It's really uh, a sight and a good spectacle. This is the steeple. They go a slightly different uh, way than the rest of the track. They cut through the middle. There's a couple of fixed obstacles there. The fallen log is one of them. That sort of stays there. So it's a, a really good spectacle to see them jump that almost hedge-like um, structure. And it just sort of breaks it up a bit. And the crowd obviously come to the fence and uh, they all want to see it. See them go past there these are good jumpers generally they're not going overly quick it's a 5,000 meter race so they're approaching the jumps at a, at a steady sort of speed and then they really clear them and if you're a, if you're up close and personal you can really see these horses uh, ping ping over these uh, jumps and it's, it's something to see yeah and I think there's something that a lot of the people do like here there's a lot of young kids are uh, walking uh, to the front and getting uh, right up there as well so uh, it is a great uh, viewing point and plenty of people enjoy this uh, this is the big one we're looking forward to it so they're just about to all load it in here for the 2018 Great Eastern Steeplechase. Here's Terry McAuliffe. So ZM walks in. Underground Fighter will be the last. So Underground Fighter goes up. And now they're ready. Thomas Foods International Great Eastern Steeplechase. 
There's the line. And they're on their way. 4,950 metres, 24 jumps. I'll have a half was a little slow to begin, and the favourite ZM was the first to show out. Leads from underground fighter second as they go to the first of the 24 jumps. In third spot, no song, no supper. Spying on you on its inside, and I'll have a half was back last of all. So as they go up towards the next jump, and it's the favourite in front, ZM. As most expected him to do, he's gone straight to the front from underground fighter in second spot as they head up to the third third jump now at the Shillibia Road crossing spying on you was third and fourth then no song no supper I'll have a half last of all they climb the hill and head out towards the fallen log on the first round three jumps down and as they go out to the log the first time it's ZM just increasing his lead now leads by two and a half to three underground fighter was second and spying on you was third no song no supper was fourth and I'll have a half last of all and now nearly eight to ten lengths off the leader which is at ZM he's at, up on top of the hill on the first round. He's got a double awaiting him up there and ZM's now moved about five lengths in front. Underground fighter was second. Spying on you third. Three then to no song, no supper. I'll have a half last of all as I negotiate jump number six. So they'll come down the hill now. Two more jumps remaining on the first circuit and ZM for Pateman leading by about four or five to underground fighter. He was runner up last year and right behind him is last year's champion. Spying on you in third spot as they go over jump seven. No song, no supper was fourth as underground fighter goes up to join ZM over the uh, last jump on the first round. Last of all was Oliver Arf. So they come into the home straight the first time. They've got a long run before they get back to what was the first jump and it's ZM in front. Leading from underground fighter second. Spying on you third. No song, no supper fourth. Oliver Arf back last of all. They run inside the 200 metre mark on the first round. And it's ZM for Stephen Pateman who's looking for his fifth win in a great eastern steeplechase and trainer Patrick Payne looking for a fourth they combine with the favourite ZM who at the judge leads by six underground fighter was second spying on you was third no song no supper was fourth and I'll have a half last of all so they go back to what was the first jump eight down as they go up to what was the first it's jump number nine and it's ZM leading by five underground fighter was second as they go to that jump now spying on you third no song no supper fourth I'll have a half put in a bit of a stick jump there he's last of all ZM again increasing his lead here he's uh, moved about six in front now from underground fighter second spying on you third no song no supper fourth I'll have a half probably not jumping all that well he's at the back last of all as they go over the Shillabia road jump jump 11 they climb the hill they head out to the fallen log jump number 12 then they'll be halfway with the jumping and it's ZM leading the way by four underground fighter second about three further back to spying on you as they get to the log now. Uh, next, no song, no supper. I'll have a half was last of all. So up towards the double up on top of the hill once again, ZM. He's been in front virtually every step of the way. He leads by about five or six to underground fighter second. Spying on you third. No song, no supper fourth. And I'll have a half on his lonesome last of all as they go over that next jump, jump 14. Probably didn't handle it all that well, the leader ZM, and just came back to them slightly there. Leads by about three to underground fighter a second. Spying on you third. No song, no supper fourth. I'll have her half last of all. They come to the double down the hill and the front runner ZM. Underground fighter second. He's been tracking him most of the way. Spying on you on his outside now. Then no song, no supper and still about five to well out of a half last of all. So into the home straight they come once again. If we were at the trots they'd be ringing the bell. There's a lap to go. And the front runner here was ZM. Spying on you the lone South Aussie. He goes Goes up on the outside to be second now. Underground fighter was third. No song, no supper was fourth. And last of all, I'll have a raft. So they've got one round left to go. Eight jumps remaining in the Thomas Foods International Great Eastern Steeplechase. And it's ZM for favourite backers. Spying on you was second. Underground fighter was third. Then no song, no supper. And going around him now was I'll have a raft. He's finally taking interest in the race as they go back to what was the first jump. Now it's jump number 17. And at ZM leading by about three to spying on you second no song no supper third fourth on his inside underground fighter I'll have a raft the closest he's been for a while he's on the outside of that horse now as they go to the next jump jump 18 and it's still ZM ZM by about three to spying on you no song no supper third underground fighter fourth I'll have a half last of all but there's only about seven lengths covering them as they go out towards the fallen lug for the final time jump number 20
20. And the leader, ZM, spying on you second. No song, no supper third. Underground fighter fourth and last Oliver half, but they are certainly tightly bunched. Only six lengths covering them. Four jumps remaining. ZM, he's been in front every step of the way. Spying on you second. No song, no supper third. Underground fighter fourth and again Oliver half loses touch with him as Pateman starts to wind it up now on the leader. ZM, he goes over the third last jump, leading by two to spying on you. No song, no supper. Then underground fighter. Oliver half not in the race. Two jumps remaining. They draw down to the second last and the stable mate of the favourite ZM. No song, no supper. Went up to nearly join him. As they come to the last now, ZM again drew nearly a length in front from No Song, No Supper. Underground fighter went to third. Then spying on you, a long break to Oliver Half. In the straight, Patrick Payne first and second. He's got the favourite ZM in front, but the stable mate No Song, No Supper's after him. They're clear from underground fighter. Then spying on you, ZM. He's responding to Pateman's call. ZM in front. No Song, No Supper can't get him. Pateman's going to win a fifth grade. Eastern. It's four for Patrick Payne. He gets the Quinella as well. ZM first. No song, no supper second. Underground fighter turns the tables on spying on you from last year. Runs third, spying on you fourth. And Oliver half. Well, I think he actually did jump them all, but he's just virtually walking up the home straight down by about the 200 metre mark. Stable Quinella for Patrick Payne. ZM wins a Bondusa and then wins the 2018 Great Eastern Steeple Chase. The numbers here, three one six and two they've been holding at warwick we'll go there next